There's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever Everything will stay the same This is a beloved Newbery Award winning book. So how did you sort of thread the needle as a screenwriter of respecting the original material but still like adapting it to screen? It was my love for the book that made me want to do the adaptation. So I certainly wanted to be true to the spirit of the book. And I think the book really delivers as far as char the characters and the emotion of it. It's so, uh, you know, affecting and, and, and it's such got such a like already built in, um, you want these, you want these, these characters to find their home and find the right, you know, like find, have their happy ending. So all that was built into the book. I think the things that were the most uh, challenging and what we needed to add was just to give it the things that are required of a, like an event movie, which is a little bit more plot, build out the world a little bit, find some comedy in some of the ancillary characters. Um, so yeah, just making it feel a little bit more, have a little bit more of a motor because the book is very contemplative and um, yeah, just uh, kind of, almost a little melancholy. And so you want to, yeah, be true to the spirit of that book, but also feel like it has, a, has the energy that you need for a movie. Were there ever parts when you were working on it, you're like, I don't know how they're going to do this. I'm impressed <laughs> that they're going to figure it out. That's kind of the, the pleasure of being the screenwriter and not the director, which is you can kind of let your imagination roam free. And then, you know, I, I remember being on set with, or like in the, in the, you know, in the production offices with, with Thea and she's having to really render all of these, you know, flights of fancy. And you realize that's where the, the real work comes in as to how to, how do you actually make it work? How do you make it come to life? Who's that? My sister. Where's your sister now? I don't remember. Memories never leave us. They just get out of reach. This movie sort of shines a little bit more light on wildlife and wildlife and captivity and like what we owe to certain animals did working on this project kind of change your relationship with any of that stuff you know i'm i'm vegan and i've kind of done animal activism in different ways for like 15 years so like <clears throat> that's part of the reason why i wanted to tell this story because i think disney really has always had animal you know there's such an affinity between kids and animals and and i think that this feels like a kind of higher consciousness extension of some of the entertainment Disney has already done. And I think what's interesting about it is that it comes, it actually uh, calls into questions of ethics about animals as entertainment. And that, you know, there's, we have this desire to be, you know, to participate with animals, but we, but, you know, the movie come, actually begs the question is, are these interactions healthy for the animal. And what I like about it is like the Mac character, you know, he's not, he's not a villain in the sense of that he's, you know, really out to get these animals. He's just coming from a time where, you know, yeah, it, some of this stuff wasn't being called into question and, and now he's grappling with it and, and realizing that, yeah, maybe these, this ha hasn't been the, the, a good thing for the animals. And, and so I think that that's, that's something that I think is uh, interesting and an important message of the of the movie. You also voice a character in this movie, a sad sea lion. Um, how much can do you know the difference between a sea lion and a seal? I picture sea lions with more like whiskers. I, I don't know. Seals look. You tell me. I picture sea lions as like more vertical. Seals uh -huh. is more like flat. Um, flat. Sea lions have ears, like flat, uh -huh. and they're more. They're bigger, I think. Yeah. Seals seem like they might, ha they seem slicker, like they are like, have more like of a fish-like touch and sea, sea lions are more, have like fur. But I don't know, maybe that's wrong too, I don't know. For one and only, Ivan 